Hello and welcome. My name is Taco Buller, and I am with Taco Buller Gaming. This video is a timeline video of my run playing as Pegu that was half uploaded to YouTube and then half uh, done on my own time after that. That was going for the That's No Mon achievement, uh, where we have to own 50 provinces that are not of the Mon culture, and then uh, I extended it on after uh, completing that in my own time to complete the Sailor Mon achievement. Uh, this video should be going up on my channel, Taco Bowler Gaming, as well as League of Average Gaming, about the same time. So if you are checking this channel or checking this video out on one of those channels and have not yet gone to the other channel, uh, go on over and, and see, what, uh, see what you can find there. So we're playing as Pegu, and again, our first goal is just to expand. And so we, we do that. Um, <laughs> there were some touch-and-go moments early on. You can uh, watch that. Uh, in the videos if you so wish, but particularly a war against Bengal that uh, a couple of days from being at 100%, um, like literally just a couple of days um, from them taking a fort versus would have been our last fort versus us taking a province to stay alive, but we stay alive and we are man to manage to, uh, to turn that around. So uh, we'd vassalized this place at one point. Obviously we took this province uh, we just kind of try and push into here. Here we go. They are now our vessel. We're just pushing in. That, I think, was the war where, where we almost lost the whole run. Um, but, yeah, just, just pushing in, getting vassals, trying to uh, grow. Just grow anywhere. Here's Prome. Uh, so we're just continuing to grow up in that area. And uh, vassalism. I'm pretty sure we vassalized... Uh, Assam, and over here. We were allies to Ayutthaya for a great part of the early game. We were allies to Khmer. Uh, we were allied to Jampur for a great part of the early game. Uh, here's a, a war with Bengal, as, as I think Jim, John Poor also uh, helped with that. Uh, and then I think Bengal got a uh, alliance that I was struggling to defeat, and so they'll uh, just kind of sit here for a little bit. Kale was an ally. Uh, we're just trying to, to pick things off. So we will be uh, doing this. We're going to annex Assam. We, we do uh, begin to head up here and actually go crazy up there once we've taken over Assam and we're able to get through the gridlock into Yu and to Sang and Kam and all the way over to Guj. We're trying to take you know, these things because they're not Mon culture. Yeah, we're over here. Now, Ming was an expansionist Ming. And Ming begins to attack Daviet. It begins to attack uh, his paw. It begins to attack Lan Na for tributary status. So, I get really scared. And I will go ahead and um, offer to be a tributary of Ming. I was a relatively loyal tributary of Ming because I, I just did not want to fight this. They, they were going absolutely crazy. You can see that I just am going crazy up here as well now because I, I don't have a land connection there I had to do one by one by one by one with all the uh, the cores which wasn't great um, but once we annex Assam then I'll have a land connection and we can finish up all the cores so that was good now Malacca grows all the way up to our border here um, and I took that personally so we'll see that I come down here and I take these provinces when I take these provinces we're nearing the point where I got the achievement, the first achievement. Oh, we took those two there. So that is good. There we go. We took these three, and then... There it is. Once I took that province right there, uh, that was number 50. And that was the first achievement. That's no Mon. Now, I continued on the rest of that episode to finish up over here. Uh, a little bit more conquest. There we go. So this is where the YouTube ended. Uh, we were pretty large. Kale was our vassal. That was it. John Poor was an ally. And we were, I think, still a tributary of Ming. Ayutthaya had rivaled us and uh, been destroyed by Ming. Khmer was still an ally. John Poor was an ally. Uh, and I think that that was it when YouTube last left off. So we're going to continue on. 
Now, a couple of things that happen in the next, uh, looks like, 102 years uh, as I'm collecting up sailors. I'm going for ports, so I will try and take over... My goal is to take over this entire sea here uh, and just, just make this mine. So I wanted all the ports here. So that was the goal. I began to conquer over here. You can see uh, this right here goes to me. I don't mess with anything else up there, so we don't need to, to worry about it. Uh, let's get here. So we, we finish up Bengal. Don't worry about them. And we're going to start coming down here. As much as we can, there's a little bit of uh, problems of alliances and, and guarantees and everything going on there. Now, at one point, Ming kicked me out from being a tributary because I was threatening. Uh, and then immediately offered me an alliance. Which I accepted. And then they broke it. And they offered, they offered to me to be a tributary, which I accepted. And then they broke that. And then they offered me an alliance again. Which uh, stayed for the end of the game. Jampur also rivaled me randomly at one point. Mm. So that long alliance was just done, but I never fought them. I tried my hardest to uh, keep that away. I got Gujarat as an ally. This massive Gujarat over here as an ally. At one of the times that Ming was saying they no longer wanted to be my friend. Uh, but other than that, we were fighting uh, uh, VJ over here. We were fighting Malacca and uh, Malacca's tributaries down in here. And Brunei insisting on being a problem. Uh, but just kind of trying to, to snake our way down and, and, like I said, take over that whole sea. And uh, it really was a march to... You know, this guy right here is my vassal, but their capital wound up being right here. I had two provinces when I released them, and their capital was there, so I could not take it, which was frustrating. Um, but yeah, this was really a march to finishing up economic ideas, finishing up maritime ideas, so that we could get the policy for plus 25% sailors uh, that those two give you, and then getting to tech, fifth, or tech 19 in Diplo. Because Tech 19 in Diplo is the Dry Dock, which is the next uh, building. I was also, you know, m uh, changing buildings around and, and developing ever so slightly um, to be able to uh, to uh, put a dock in every, almost every uh, coastal province that I wound up owning. So that was. Uh, was something there. It was it was difficult. It was tedious, but it wound up working out. I got the tech in 1648. Got the achievement in 1649. Played a little bit further to finish up getting uh, all the docks. But I think I got the achievement on actually the very beginning of 1650. This guy right here is my vassal. I had to vassalize them to be able to go to war with uh, Coat, uh, which I didn't realize was still in Maldives. Uh, without uh, fighting Bamanas, who were allied to them. Jahor is also my vassal over here. Um, and I just you know, kept them around. I didn't want to annex any of these because I needed the Diplo. So this is where we sit. Ming is an ally. Gujarat is an ally. Khmer is an ally. They never grew. They, they should never have allied me. But I would have probably destroyed them if they had not done that, so... Yeah. Um, for, as far as buildings go, uh, you can see how many docks I have. <laughs> um, there were a couple of provinces that would have required uh, a bit more maneuvering. Um, but yeah, just loaded up on those. Uh, and then finally got that uh, Tech 19. And then Maritime and Economic with uh, this one here. And so that produces... 77,450 sailors from the provinces and then increased by 75% um, to reach a maximum right now of 108,582 but we have 103 that's the achievement that is done we have Sailor Mon and we have That's No Mon achieved quite a fun run um I Buddhism is a little bit better in the fact that karma is more forgiving. Um, 
at least more forgiving than I remember it. I, I was down at like negative 80, sometimes even negative 100 for quite a bit of this. It looked like at negative 100 there were some pretty bad events that happened r pretty regularly. Uh, but as far as this goes, the, the, the effects of, of the karma, not really that bad. Um, you, you lose a little bit of discipline. You lose all the dipper rep if you go below 33. But it's really not that bad. And you get a lot of events to, to help push it in one way or another, which is very helpful. Um, but other than that, um, I'm not looking to come back to Pegu anytime soon, but uh, it was not a terrible run. Um, this area is difficult to start in, but once you start there, you can uh, you can really go. And I didn't even min-max this in terms of like trade or anything like that. So uh, they only min-maxed it for sailors. So um, pretty good run. And uh, I uh, I had some fun. Looking forward to uh, to the next run in, in uh, EU4, uh, whatever that might be. Go ahead and check out the Discord. You might have a chance yet to uh, influence that. Or... You might have a chance to just, just influence the next one. But I've been talking about gaming. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, please do like, please do comment, please do subscribe to wherever you are watching this. Check out the other channel, and I will see you whenever I next see you.